Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to discuss how to run K-fold cross-validation in neural network in NINE. Neural network use variety of algorithms for training and making predictions, including backpropagation, gradient descent, and stochastic gradient descent. These algorithms involve adjusting the weights and biases of the neurons in the network based on the error between the predicted output and the actual output for a given input. During the training process, the neural network algorithm iteratively adjusts the weights and biases of the neurons to minimize the error between the predicted output and the actual output. This is done by propagating the error backwards through the network, updating the weights and biases of each neuron based on its contribution to the error. We run the cross-validation in the neural network. It is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say that it is a te technique to check how statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Let's see how we run the cross validation. The data set is split into the training and testing data. The training data we consider for the cross validation. The parameters are inserted into, into the cross validation and the best parameters are extracted. These best parameters are again used to retrain the model. The final evaluation is done on the testing data. Now the question arises how cross validation is done? The gray color indicates the all data. All data is divided, is split into two parts the training and testing. The green color indicates the training data and the blue color indicates the testing data. The data is folded into some 5 or 10 folds. Say for example, if we are having 100 observations and if there are 5 folds, then in each fold we will be having 20 observations. So in first split, the fold 1 will become the testing data, remaining will become the training data. In second split, fold 2 becomes the testing data, remaining all will become the training data. This is repeated quite a number of times. After this, the best parameters are Consider. So we get the best parameters from here. And the final evaluation is done on the testing data. Now, how we can run the cross validation? Let's see in nine. So, first of all, I will activate the input output node from here. So double click on it. I'll browse the data set. Time. I'll connect hard one, open, click OK, right click on it and execute. Now again I'll right click on it and see the file chain. So there are many variables in this model. I only want to consider only few of them and that's the reason I'll, I'll activate the column filter so that I can filter the variables. Right click on it, configure. I'll take all the variables on left hand side. I'll transfer age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now, all these variables are on different scales, and therefore, it is necessary that we activate the normalizer. Right click on it and configure. So the normalization which is considered is mean max normalization. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now I'll activate X partition for cross validation. Right click on it. Configure. 10 validations. 10 number of validations are 10. Stratified sampling is to be done, heart disease, click OK, right click on it and execute, done. Now, I'll activate the learner from here, rprop learner, which is the neural lear learner. Right click on it, configure, make sure again the heart disease is on, click OK, right click on it and execute. Now, activate the multilayer perceptron predictor. So this multilayer uh, perceptron predictor will get its learning from here, but it will get its data set from this X partitioner. Right click on it, configure. Again, right click on it, click OK. Right click, execute, done. You can right click on it and you can see the classified data. 
So this is the original data set and this is a prediction which has been done by neural network. Now I will activate the aggregator which is required. Right click on it, configure, hard disk, prediction hard disk, click OK, right click on it and execute. So aggregator is ready. Now let's see how well the cross validation gives the result. So I'll activate the scorer from here. Right click on it, configure. I'll activate the hard disk, prediction hard disk, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. So 270 cases have been correctly classified and 395 have been correctly classified. So 665 cases have been correctly classified and the classification accuracy is 72.44%, quite good. The misclassified cases are 113 and 140. So 253 cases have been misclassified. So this is the way you can run K-fold cross-validation in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.